Well, hello, all you bird brains. You ready for a little bit of science? <laughs> Just joking with you. Hey, look at all these beautiful birds here. Today, we're going to go back and uh, get back into our unit five that we were finishing up uh, before fall break and for the review week. And so we're going to do five review lessons this week. And then you're going to have your science test on Monday, one week from today. So make sure you pay attention to all the lessons this week and be ready for that test. Um, then on Monday. OK, so uh, today we're going to do a, a digital lesson on why do bird beaks differ? If you will remember back before fall break, we were talking about animal adaptations, how animals are adapted to survive in their environment. And so depending on the environment that a animal that a bird specifically today lives in, it's going to need a differently shaped beak to, for different reasons, maybe a uh, a beak like this, it's powerful to crack nuts and things like a parrot or a cockatiel, whatever that is. Um, and maybe we're going to see some more types of beaks or bills that do different tasks in the environment where the birds live. So we're going to get started now on this virtual lesson. So pay attention. I'm going to shrink myself a little bit here. Maybe. Nope. There we go. OK. And let's get started with the lesson. Why do bird beaks differ? Welcome to the lesson, Why Do Bird Beaks Differ? In this lesson, you will learn about bird beaks and how they are adaptations to different food sources. Want to be a bird watcher? Have you ever put out bird seed or a hummingbird feeder to attract birds so you can watch them? You can attract different kinds of birds if you know what they like to eat. Later in this activity, you will investigate if bird beaks are adapted to the food birds eat. Click each bird to find out about the bird and its food. All right, so look at all these birds we're going to look at. They all have differently shaped beaks if you look closely. Let's find out about them. Did you know that hummingbirds may eat twice their weight in one day? Hummingbirds like the sugar in flower nectar and tree sap. Blue jays love acorns and will hang around oak trees looking for them. They prefer tray feeders and will come for suet, a fat, peanuts, or sunflower seeds. They will chase other birds away from your feeder. So look at how the beaks are different. This little hummingbird, he's got this long skinny beak to get down inside of the flower to get the nectar. And the blue jay has this shorter beak. He's going to crush acorns and other little nuts like it said that he ate. Let's hear about a finch. Tiny finches will come to your feeder in groups. They love thistle seed and sunflower seeds. Sparrows are social birds. They will often nest under the eaves of houses. They love to feed on insects, berries, and seeds in gardens. They will eat most seeds and breadcrumbs from your feeder. Look at the toucan that lives in the canopy of the rainforest. It eats fruits and insects and uses its large bill for reaching into branches to pick fruit. He's got a big old bill, doesn't he? Look how big that thing is. Plants and animals have unique features or behaviors that help them survive. These features are called adaptations. Are bird feet adapted to their environment? Let's find out about the foot adaptations of birds. Click the pictures of bird feet to discover more about their functions. Use the arrows to move up and down. These hind toes let the woodpecker climb without falling backward. These few toed feet help this ostrich run fast. Fast running birds have three toes rather than four. One fast running bird has only two toes. These webbed feet act like paddles when the duck swims in the water. So all these different feet have a different purpose. That the woodpecker has these back two toes to hang onto the tree. The ostrich has 
what to say, three toes to run fast. See the webbing between the duck's toes on its feet so it can swim. Let's see what this one is. The eagle uses these large curved claws to snatch small animals from the ground. These feet can help the bird perch and balance on branches. All right, so just like the bills, birds have different types of feet that are adapted to the environment they live in also. Match each foot to the task for which it is best adapted. Drag each item to the correct location. All right, so running, that was the big old ostrich foot there. Grasping, I think that was the eagle's talons. Climbing, the woodpecker is going to climb around on the tree, isn't it? Perching is this little bird. And swimming, of course, is a duck. Good work. Bird feet are physical adaptations that allow birds to find food and survive in their environment. Now, let's take a look at bird beaks. To take a closer look at birds and their beaks, here's what you'll use. A digital bird field guide. You'll be able to select a bird using this menu. A hand lens. You'll be able to drag the hand lens to look closely at the bird beak. You'll observe the bird and read its description. A key to determine beak type. You will use this key to determine each bird's beak type. You'll be able to drag the hand lens to look closely at the bird beak, a data table. You'll record in the table each bird's beak type and the food it eats. Okay. You can observe birds and their beaks to compare and find similarities. Are bird beaks adapted to their food? Make a prediction about whether you think that birds with the same kind of beak eat the same kind of food. Type your answer in the box, then click OK. Well, it seems to me to make sense, doesn't it, you? Do you think birds that have the same kind of beak would eat the same kind of food? Yes, I think so. We think that similar bills or beaks means that the birds eat similar foods. Continue to see if your prediction is correct. To check your prediction, you will make some observations. First, state your goal, and then describe your plan for discovering whether bird beaks are adapted to their food. Type your answer in the box. Then click OK. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to choose a bird and then we're going to look at its beak with a magnifying glass. Then we'll look at our key over here and see if it's chisel, hooked or cone. And we'll read the description about what it eats and we'll fill in the beak type and the food. So let's, how can we top all that? We'll choose a bird, examine. The beak, record the data, and make a conclusion. Check your plan. Did you set a goal and include these steps? Look closely at each bird using the digital field guide. Identify each bird's beak type. Identify the kinds of food that each bird eats. Record this information in the table. If your plan does not include these steps, you can change it. Once you've finished, click the Next button to move on. I think we did pretty well. Oh, computer. Now it's time to get started. Choose a bird from the menu. All right, let's choose a hawk. Drag the hand lens to look at the bird closely. Yeah. 
up. Okay. Use the key to determine beak type. Record beak type, chisel, hook, or cone in the correct row of the table. All right, what do you see? I see a little hook at the end of this hawk's bill, don't you? So I think its beak type is hooked. Okay. Read the description to determine the bird's food. Record this in the table. Okay, so eats rodents and birds and snakes. Okay. Choose another bird from the menu and repeat the process for all nine birds to complete the table. Okay, we'll look at the woodpecker now. Uh, it's more like a chisel bill. It's kind of long and narrow, so it's got a chisel bill. Let's see what it eats. He lives, eats many kinds of food like insects. Okay, insects. That it picks from the tree bark and fruits and nuts. Okay. Bird. Nut hatch. Never heard of a nut hatch. What do you think about this one? I think it's more of a chisel too, don't you? It's not quite that cone shape. It's more of a chisel. Okay, it lives in the woodlands or coniferous forest, preferring oak trees. It probes tree trunks for seeds, insects, and it stores seeds and nuts in the tree crevices. So nuts. Okay. Next bird is a northern cardinal. I like cardinals. Okay, there's one that has this little cone shaped, isn't it? It's not chisel. It's not long and narrow. It's a wider bill. So. Cardinal have a cone-shaped bill. Let's read about them. The cardinal lives near woods and plants around houses. It eats weed seeds, <laughs> weed seeds, sunflower seeds. I eat sunflower seeds too, don't you? Um, grains, fruits, and insects. All right. And that's the first cone bill we had. Now let's look at the sparrow. Now that's a little cone shaped bill too, isn't it? All right, cone. The sparrow likes to be near human areas, such as farms, houses, and cities. It eats seeds, including commercial bird seed, out by humans, as well as insects. And human trash? What? You better not leave trash out. Might hurt the bird. All right, now let's go to the barn owl. Barn owls are pretty, aren't they? Oh, it looks like a hook, doesn't it? The barn owl has a hooked beak. Okay, now let's see what kind of food it eats. The barn owl lives in open habitats such as grassland, farmland, or fresh saltwater marshes. It eats small rodents, okay, rodents, um, mice, bulls, rats, oh, bulls wrong, rats, small birds. I think I saw a pattern with the hook bill, didn't you? They're the only ones that are not eating seeds and stuff. They're eating other animals. Okay, let's go to the next one, a brown creeper. That sounds a little scary. Brown creeper, there he is. Okay, he's got that long chisel type bill. Brown creeper likes wooded areas and decaying trees. It eats tree bark and insects and seeds. Okay, moving on. Bald eagle, what, what do you think it's gonna have? I bet it has a hooked bill. Let's see. Look at his eye. <laughs> hooked bill. It sure does. That hook at the end there. Hooked. What have we seen that hooked bird? Hook billed birds eat. They eat other animals, don't they? Bald eagle lives in trees 75 feet or higher. It eats fish, snakes. Wow. Smaller birds. Rodents. 
rabbits. Poor little bunny rabbits. Okay. And the rose-breasted grosbeak. Never heard of that. I can see why it's called the rose-breasted. Its chest is red there. And it's got a little cone-shaped bill. The grosbeak lives in open woodlands near water, in thick brush, in short trees, in tall trees, and in marsh borders. Lives a little bit everywhere, doesn't it? It finds food on tree leaves. It eats insects, seeds, tree buds, and fruit. All right, I think we got all of them. Those are interesting. Let's go and see what we've got to do next. Look at the data you collected. Which birds have the same beak type? Do the birds with common beak types eat the same food? Use your results to write a conclusion about how beak type affects what a bird eats. Type your answers in the box, then click OK. All right, so let's take a look at this. So first of all, we noticed as we were doing this, the hooked beak means that kind of bird is going to eat another animal. The, nut, the chisel and the cone beak, they don't eat other animals. Only the hooked beak birds eat other animals. So that's one thing that we see. And then now let's look at the chisel. Chisel eats insects, fruits, nuts, insect seed nuts, tree bark insects, and seeds. Okay. Cone, weed seeds, sunflower seeds, grains, fruit, insects, seeds, bird seed, insects, trash, tree leaves, insects. So Looks like they all eat about the same thing, don't they? So do you think that birds with similar beaks eat similar foods? Yes. Yes. Birds with similar beaks eat similar foods. Birds with hooked beaks are often birds of prey that eat small animals. Birds with cone-shaped beaks often eat seeds, which they crack open using their beaks. Birds with chisel beaks can probe for insects, seeds, and other types of food. A bird's beak is an adaptation to the food that it eats. Birds with similar beaks eat similar foods. How does your conclusion compare to how scientists explain this? Type your answer in the box, then click OK. Well, we agree, don't we? Um, so think about that. I know there's one test question that has a picture of a bird, and you have to look at its beak, and you have to determine what it probably eats. So let's think about what we found. Those hooked beaks that eat other animals, the little cone-shaped beaks, they're like for cracking open seeds. And then those longer chisel beaks, they're for like digging into the tree. Like think of a woodpecker uh, going deep into the tree to find an insect. So, yeah. So the different type of beak a bird has to, uh, is because of its environment and what kind of food it eats. In 1973, Peter and Rosemary Grant began yearly trips to the Galapagos Islands to study finches. They wanted to see which birds survived weather changes. In 1977, there was a harsh drought with little rainfall. Plants died and there weren't a lot of seeds. The birds ate all the small soft seeds. The hard large seeds were soon all that were left for the birds to eat. Think about which of the beaks would be best adapted to the seeds that were left. Type your answer in the box then click OK. OK, so all that was left was large, hard seeds. Now, this this woodpecker finch, he's got more of a narrow where it's, it's more like a little narrow chisel type beak. That's for digging deep in the trees. Whereas this large ground finch, he's got a big, wide cone shaped beak, which is made for cracking open nuts. So which of the beaks would be best adapted for seeds that were left? I think the large ground bench. 
The finches with the large, strong beaks could open the hard seeds, so they survived. The finches with the small beaks couldn't open the hard seeds, so they died. Hmm. I think we were right. <laughs> You've learned a lot about bird beaks. Before we finish, let's take a quick look at the main points you covered. Adaptations help animals survive in their environment. An animal's adaptations can include its behaviors or physical characteristics. Birds have adaptations to help them survive in their environment. Bird beaks are one type of adaptation. Their main function is to help birds feed. Birds with the same beak type eat the same kind of food. For example, cone-shaped beaks are adapted to help birds eat seeds. Birds with chisel-shaped beaks are adapted to probe for insects. Likewise, hooked beaks are adapted to help birds eat meat. Now that you've finished the lesson, click the Lab Report button to save or print it. Well, okay, so we learned a lot about bird beaks today and uh, why birds have certain types of beaks. They're made to adapt to their environment. So those hooked beaks eat other animals. The long chisel-shaped beaks kind of dig into the trees. Think of a hummingbird as that long beak to get into a flower. And then the cone-shaped beaks are for breaking open seeds. So learned a lot about those birds and their beaks today. So today I, there is an assignment for science. It's kind of short, but I want you to read the short text about animal adaptations and answer the five questions. Uh, so you'll need to see that on the next slide and then go to the assignment that has your questions on it, okay? As we learn more about animal adaptations and review for our test next week. We'll see you soon.